All right, hi everyone. It's really great to see you. And welcome to Body and Brain's first family class. We're really super excited to have you with us today. My name is Cherie, and this is my amazing co-instructor today. Her name is Maya. Her name is Maya. So welcome to our living room. Hopefully we're in yours too. So mums and dads and grandparents, whoever you're with today, aunties, uncles, uh, we are here just to help you have a really fun time with your family, to move your body, to feel bright and energized. And we all know that we're going through kind of tough times at the moment. So we actually have a little chat box. I don't know if you can see that, but because we're YouTube live, you can post any kind of comments, any questions that you might have as we go through. Uh, this is a really interactive session. We're going to have a lot of fun. Uh, nice to see you, Tiffany. Thank you for posting. All right, so what we're going to do today? What are we going to start with, Miss Maya? We are going to start with the wiggles. The wiggles. What do we have to do for the wiggles? Are you ready to start? Do you guys know how to wiggle? Maybe? <laughs> Let us show you. Ready? And wiggle. <sighs> As you wiggle, I want you to wiggle out all the busy energy. Can you do that? Shake. What should we shake, Maya? Shake our head. Shake your head. Shake your head. Oh. And then shake your hands. Shake your hands. And then let's shake our feet. Right foot. Can you shake your right foot? Yeah, shake your right foot. And then can you shake your left foot? And then, let's see, can you shake your right hand and your left foot? Can you shake? Shake, 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 shake. <laughs> and can you switch? Ready? Left hand, right foot. <laughs> shake, 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 shake. And then, what about two hands, two feet, Maya? Can we do it? Whoa! <laughs> awesome. Shake your body. 30 more seconds. Oh, keep shaking, shaking, shaking. Which part have we shaken? Can you shake your butt? <laughs> shake, shake, shake. Ah, very good. And now slowly stop. Let's take a deep breath in, Maya. We're gonna lift up our arms. You ready? Take a deep breath. And exhale. <sighs> Let's do it again. Breathe in. And out. <sighs> Last one, breathe in deeply. And out. Ah, great job. How do you feel already? So good. You feel energized? <laughs> great. So let's do one of my favorites. What's the next one, Maya? Washing machine. Washing machine. So what do we have to do? Feet together, bend your knees. Hands out in front. We're going to take our hands one way, knees the other direction, and then we're going to shake. So here, I really want you to focus. And can you feel your spine, your backbone? Can you feel yours, Maya? Yep. Yeah. So make it all loose and wobbly. Wiggle your spine. And then we're going to talk a little bit about our organs. Oh, do you know your organs, Maya? Some of them? <laughs> all right. So on our left side, we're going to start with our left side under your rib cage. So this is your stomach. So can you make this shaking vibration your washing machine? Wash your stomach. Can you shake, shake, shake? Send this vibration into your stomach. And then what about your intestines? Do you remember where they are? All in the middle. Yeah, shake your intestines. Whoa, I hope you haven't had too much for lunch. Maybe you're making your own milkshake right now. <laughs> shake your intestines. And then over here on the right side, this is your liver. So shake your liver. Oh, so our organs are so important, right? They help our body. They do all the important functions. Ah, great to see you online. Hi, Jenny. Ah, welcome Tiffany from Atlanta. Awesome. And then what about those kidneys, Maya? Where are your kidneys? Can you show them? Turn around, show them. Yeah, good. Shake your kidneys. Kind of in your lower back area. Shake, 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 shake. And then I think our washing machines can go faster. What do you think? Super spin cycle, ready? Go! Go, 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 go! 
Keep shaking. You've got 10 seconds left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and stop. Oh, very good. Can you sweep down, sweep down, sweep down? We will do some breathing, yes. And then shake out your body. Good. Ready? Let's take a deep breath in. My lift up your arms. And then exhale. Every time you exhale, just let everything go to the floor. Again, let's breathe in. And out. Let's do it one more time. Breathe in. And out. Awesome. Keep shaking. All right, next one, Maya. What's up, the washing machine? Which one are we going to do next? Clapping. Clapping machine. All right, this one is super fun. So let's have a bit more space, huh? Yes. Are you ready? So we're going to clap in front. Ready? Clap. And behind. Clap. And in front. Clap. And then your right leg. Pull your arms in. Hop. You can do it, right? Here we go. One in front. One behind. One in front. This time, left leg. Hop. Again, one, two, three, right leg, ha! One, two, three, go make the sound, ha! One, two, three, ha! One, two, three, ha! One, two, three, ha! One, two, three, ha! Last time, one, two, three, ha! All right, how do you feel? So that one's great for opening up your chest and your stomach green, give everything a little shake and a wiggle. And then let's take a nice deep breath one more time. This time, link your fingers at the bottom. We're going to breathe up to our chest, so breathe in. Exhale all the way down. Very good. Again, breathe in. And down. Last time, breathe in really deeply. Exhale everything. Good job. One more little shake. And then we're going to do a partner, a couple of partner exercises. Mine's already ready, it's awesome. <laughs> this one's called partner push. Now if you have more than two people, you can take turns. Or you can try and do like this with three people. So yeah. imagine someone else is here, right? <laughs> but we're going to do two here because there are two of us. So I want you to put one foot forward, the other person puts the opposite foot forward. Which is the same foot forward. Correct, same foot but on the opposite side. Then what are we doing with our hands, Maya? We're going to put them together and push gently. Right. And what part of our body are we feeling? Do you remember? A uh, calf muscle. In the I back keep... of the leg. <laughs> We're going to feel into the calf. And then actually this is opening up the bladder meridians. We have these Ooh. big meridians. Do you know what meridians are, Maya? Yes. So we have these energy meridians, like little super highways in the body. Let's hold for 10 more seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Release. Oh, so good. And then switch. So switch your legs. Okay, you got it. Let's bring our hands together. And we're going to push. But keep working with your partner. It's not like a competition. You don't want to push your partner over. <laughs> So balance and work with your partner and just breathe and then bring your mind to the area that you're stretching. So can you feel your calf muscle? I hope so. Can you feel your arms? Can you feel your arms? And then keep breathing. All those meridians, those little energy super highways are opening, making your body feel warmer and better. 10 seconds. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and release. Woo wee! Shake it out. Good job. Should we do a little bit of breathing, Maya? Link your fingers, breathe in, and down. Good. Breathe in, and down. Last one. Breathe in deeply. Exhale. Very good. And shake it out. 
We've got one more partner stretch now. Do you remember this one, Maya? Yeah, she's so good. She's been training forever. No, I haven't. I've been training for two days. Two days. Two days is pretty good, right? So take this outside leg and I want you to bend that knee outwards. Holding the hands in the middle and then these outside hands are going to link. And make a heart. Make a heart, yeah. That's so beautiful, right? And then let's bounce out that outside knee. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stay here. And can you feel the side of your body opening? I want you to feel all the way. Can you feel my through your rib cage? Yeah. And your armpit? Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully it's not too smelly. <laughs> Ready? We're going to hold for five seconds. Bend that knee outwards. One, two, three, four, five. Breathe in. Lift up that arm. Oh, and release. <laughs> You're going to need back surgery, I hope not. <laughs> Can you feel your body? Feel the difference between the side that you stretched and the other side. It's so different, right? So shake everything out. Stretch. And we're going to switch sides because otherwise we're all going to be standing like this. So let's start. Bring the feet a little bit closer together. Remember this outside knee is the one that you're going to bend. Then hold hands in the middle here. And then take the outside hand. We're going to link them together. Good, and we're going to bounce. You ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stay here. Four, five seconds. One, two, three, four, five, and three. Good. Shake it all out. Let's do a little bit more breathing. Maya, you ready? Move your hands. Oh, okay, breathe in. And tap up. All right, you got it. Ready? Breathe in. And up. Good. Last one. Ready? Breathe in deeply. And out. Oh, I like that big extended Good job. Do one more shake. All right, so we've kind of done a little bit on the upper body. I think it's time to get down to our hips. What do you think, Maya? What are we going to do next? Hula hooping. Hula hooping. Who's good at hula hooping? Anyone? I used to be good. Now I'm learning again. So don't worry, parents. No hoops involved today. Maya's showing you how to do it. But take the feet a little bit wider than your hip width. Hands on those hips. We're going to take a deep breath in. And then as you exhale, push your hips forward. Oh my goodness. And then we're going to go to the left side. All the way around to the back, to the right. And then back to the front. Let's do 10. That's one. Two. Feel your hip joints. Feel your hip joints. Good job. Keep counting. Four. Five. Uh, can you feel your hips? Seven. Eight. Oh, super hula hoops. Nine. And ten. You ready? Let's go opposite direction. Oh, all the way around. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Should we get our hula hoops moving faster? Ready? Six. Seven, eight, oh, nine, and ten. Great job. Shake it out, shake it out. Ah, how do your hips feel? Yeah. Better? Great. Let's do another breathing one. Right? Ready? Big arms this time. Okay, good choice. Breathe in. And then, ah, breathe out. Oh, I like that one again. Breathe in. And out. And yeah, we love our hip joints, right? Breathe in again. And out. Good job, Maya. Thank you so much. One more little shake. Now, hopefully, you have some space to come down to the floor. So let's come on down. I'm going to adjust the screen a little bit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got it. All right. So let's come down here, Maya. 
<laughs> I'm over this way a little bit. All right, so we're gonna go on a bit of a cycle journey. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah? <laughs> so we're gonna lie down. We're gonna put our feet against each other. And push a little bit. And then I want you to hold your hand above. Oh, that one mine, so that's a and then as you hold your handlebars, look towards your belly button too. This is a really good one for your core strength. Are you ready? We're going to start cycling. Oh, you're going to work with your partner. Otherwise, your bicycle will fall apart. Right, you don't want your bicycle to fall apart, right? <laughs> so look at your belly button. Oh, can you feel your ab muscles? Your tummy muscles? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And where are we going to cycle to, do you think, Mum? The park. Well, I don't know if with coronavirus right now if we'll get to the park. But let's pretend it's a beautiful day at the park. Okay. And then let's reverse. Opposite direction. Oh, so good. How are your legs feeling, Maya? Yeah. Good. Can you feel your muscles? Yeah, great job. So keep going, we're almost home. We've got about another 10 seconds. One, two, three. Four, five, six, oh, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Oh, so good. Lay the floor for about five seconds. Five seconds, that's all you get according to Master Maya. <laughs> so take a deep breath. And then let's very slowly bend those knees, roll over to one side, and then come back up. Good. Ah, very good. Yeah, great. I'm so glad you can feel your core muscles. Me too. <laughs> After all the snacking and eating that goes on when we're stuck at home, right? It's really good to exercise the abs. All right. So let's make a beautiful cat costume in our mind. Do you remember cat? <laughs> let's have our hands under our shoulders. You're going to tuck your toes underneath. This one is a stretching cat. You ready? So we're going to breathe in, lift up your head, lift up your tailbone, get a really big arch in your back. You're actually, you're squeezing your kidneys. Squeeze your kidneys. And then let's do the opposite. This time, tuck your chin, tuck your tailbone. Oh, push up. Imagine push up. you're like a stretching cat in the morning. This is a and then we're going to breathe. <laughs> we're going to do that one soon, right? Lift up your chin again. Lift up your tailbone. And feel. And then one more time. Tuck your chin. Tuck your tailbone. Push up through the back. Imagine you're really stretching first thing in the morning. Good. <laughs> yeah, now we're going to be dogs. So I want you to pick up your feet. Cross your arm, yeah. <laughs> and then we gotta wag our tails. So wag your tail, move your spine. Let's see if we can get all that energy moving, loosen up our spine. Breathe out. Ah, what does the dog say, Maya? <laughs> Woof. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So keep shaking. Can you wag your tail faster? Wag, 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 wag. Shouldn't we let our dog? <laughs> Maybe. All right, shall we come down now? Come down. Yeah, so this time we're going to do... Barking sea lion. Barking sea lion. Do you guys know what a sea lion is? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That's a barking sea lion. So this time, lion. come down on to your tummy. Tuck your toes underneath. And then push your hips down. And then what sound does a sea lion make? Do you guys know? Oh, oh, oh. So really open your body, pull the shoulders down. This one's so good for opening up the front of your body. Let's hold five seconds. You ready? One, two, three, four, and five. Very good. Can you come down? And then this time, I want you to push back. We're going to be stretching cats in a different way this time. So this one, come back, sit on your heels. And then stretch out those arms. 
Imagine you're a kitty stretching out your paws first thing in the morning. And then stretch and feel your shoulders. Pull your arms, feel your shoulders. If you want here, you can rock your hips a little bit. <laughs> you can be like one of those cats that likes to wag its tail. Not all cats. And then let's walk our hands, this time over to the right side. So walk your hands to the right side. And you're going to stretch through the left side of your body. Keep breathing well. See if you can feel your rib cage and your armpit. Don't get too close to your armpit, maybe. <laughs> and then let's come back to centre. We're going to go all the way over to the left side. Stretch. Very good. Can you feel your rib cage? Uh, yeah. And then let's come back to centre one more time. Last big stretch. Really stretch out your claws. <laughs> good. And then walk those hands back in. Give everything a little shake and a wiggle. <sighs> Breathe out. Good job. All right. So we're going to come back and sit in a nice comfortable position. And then we're going to make some cookies today. How does that sound? We're going to eat new flour, eggs, chocolate chips. Not those kind of cookies. No. So what I want you to do if you're at home, if you have two people or even more, create a little bit of space and make like a chain. So if you have more people, they can sit behind you. And then what's the first thing we need to do with our knee. cookie? Knee. So we're going to knead our dough. So we're going to make little fists and we're going to gently tap all over the back. And imagine that you're tapping out your cookie dough. So I'm sure you've probably seen a rolling pin before, right? Your fists are now kind of the rolling pin, mixing the dough, kneading the dough. It's very important, right, to knead the dough, otherwise all the flour and the eggs and the butter, they're all separate. <laughs> Sit up tall, my how's it feel? Good. Good. And then we have to pat down the dough. So make your hands like little cups, and we're gonna pat. Pat down the dough. Oh, all over the back. How's it feel? Good. And then what kind of cookies are we going to make today, Maya? Rainbow. Marshmallow cookie dough. Marshmallow cookie dough, all right. So now you're going to use your fingers and spread the marshmallows. Can you spread the marshmallows all over the cookies? So make sure there's lots, because we like lots, right? Do you like lots of marshmallows in your cookies now? I only like marshmallows. Just marshmallows? Well, oh, that's good. <laughs> and then, next step, we put all the ingredients in. Now we have to cook the cookies. So take your hands, and then place them on the back. And then, actually, you can send a lot of heat and warmth to the cookies to cook them. And this is one of our principles. So where your mind goes, the energy follows. So energy can be like heat from your hands. So wherever you put your mind, that's where your energy will go. So cooking the cookies. And then we have to pull them off. So we're going to sweep down, sweep down. Pull off your cookies. Very good. And how does it feel? Good. Good? So it relax. tastes good. And it tastes good too. <laughs> Alright, guess what? Your turn to make cookies. So if you have done one way, turn around and switch. And we're going to make cookies for the other person now. So what's the first step, Maya? Knead the dough. Knead the dough. What do we have to do? Yeah, use your fists. Gently tapping. And as you tap, just feel. Oh, it feels so good. Tapping all over the back. And then after kneading, what comes next? Patting. Yeah, pat the dough. Spread it all out. Imagine you're spreading it out on your cookie tray. So pat it out, pat it out, pat it out. And then this time, what kind of cookies are we going to make? Nuts. Nut cookies. All right. So sprinkle the nuts. Use your fingertips. Sprinkle the nuts. 
Yeah, it's so good. Cookies, right? Did you know you can make your own cookies? <laughs> Just by tapping your back. And then after sprinkling the nuts, what do we have to do, Maya? Cook the cookies. So place your hands on the back and just send all of that heat to cook the cookies. And just feel. And then I want you to cool off the cookies. So sweet down, sweet down, sweet down. Yeah, very good. Thank you so much. Did you enjoy your cookie making? Yes. Yeah. Can I eat <laughs> I try not to eat your cookies just yet. <laughs> All right. So coming back now. Sit here, and then we'll do a little bit of an exercise that I really love. Let's do a little bit of tapping. Yeah, Maya's already doing it. So now is a really great time. Just tap with your fingertips. If you know what a sound, if you know the sound, uh, if, the you gorilla. Know, if you know the sound of the gorilla, please comment below. <laughs> yeah, what sound does a gorilla make, right? So as you tap your chest, just feel and see if you can feel like the vibration. So as you tap, just breathe. If you can feel your lungs and your chest, just tap and breathe. Yeah, that feels so good. And you can tap a little bit out towards your shoulders. Just see here. Tap a little bit right in the center of your chest. This part is called your sternum. This is also your heart chakra. Right here. Yeah, right in the middle, that's right. I thought our heart was on this side. Yeah, your heart is over here, but your heart chakra is right in the center. Yeah. Heart chakra, chakras are energy centers. opposite direction. Right. So keep tapping your chest. Is there six chakras? Seven. Oh, and this one. And then I want you to bring one hand over the other in the center of your chest. If you're comfortable, just close your eyes for a moment. I want you to feel your heartbeat. Feel your breath. Feel how your lungs and your ribs move as you breathe. And then imagine, like a movie screen, you can open up in your mind. And then I want you to put your most favorite place on the earth, somewhere out in nature that you love to be. Maybe it's the beach or the mountains, or the ocean. Rainforest. Rainforest. So just imagine that place. And then imagine the earth. And then we're going to take a deep breath in. Breathe in all the smells of that place. Breathe it in. And out. Again, breathe in. time. Take a deep breath in of nature. Breathe in and exhale. Oh, very good. And then this time let's turn our hands around to the front. Turn them out so your palms are facing forwards. And then imagine the earth is here in front of your hands. Yeah, so just feel. And then you can close your eyes again. Especially at this time, let's send a lot of love to the earth. Can you send love to the earth? And all the people on the earth that need our love and support and help right now. So let's send all of that love to the earth.
Bring your hands back down to your knees. Take a deep breath in. And out. One more time, breathe in. Time, rub your hands together. And we're going to clap together 10 times. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Rub them together again. See if you can make them super warm. Super, super warm. How warm? Super warm. Super warm. And then I'm going to teach you how to make a beautiful energy cocoon. Are you ready? Have you heard of an energy cocoon before? Yes. Yeah? like a butterfly. So take your hands without touching. You're going to sweep all over your body. Imagine you make this beautiful cocoon for your health and happiness. Make yourself very bright and creative. Ha! Ah, very good. One more time. Great job. So thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, we really hope that you enjoyed your practice. And then every Monday at uh, 4 p.m. East Coast time, uh, we'll be here live on YouTube. But also, if you haven't already, please click the subscribe button. Uh, we have a lot of other live uh, feeds and lots of videos that can really help you at this time as we're all kind of sheltering in place and recovering. Uh, if you have any questions, we have our beautiful chat box there and I've seen so many comments. It's been so great to see. Uh, we saw a lot of different emojis. I don't think I've seen so many emojis. Have you, Mike? I've seen guys emojis. Yeah, we can see our gorilla. We can see the noises. I like the noises. Lots of cookies. So please leave your comments if you haven't told us where you're from. We'd love to hear from you. And then... We hope that you have a wonderful day, that you feel brighter and better. So we'll be here answering any questions that you have. Mums and dads, I know this can be a challenging time. If you need any suggestions or ideas, please let us know. And then we can work them into our future classes as well. So again, bye for now. Thank you so much.